Okay, so I want to talk about a few more things that are super important while my uh, tuna dish, my tuna noodle casserole is in the oven. One of them is, I don't know if you noticed that I used actually two cans of tuna and one of the pouches because that's about the amount that I needed, right? About 10 ounces. And with the cans, they have the kind of lids that I had to actually use a can opener to open them. If you need to use a can opener and you don't know how to use a can opener, for heaven's sakes, ask your parents, they'll help you. But here's the really important thing. Look at that edge. Do you see how sharp that is? You can really hurt yourself if you're not careful. The last thing you wanna do is cut yourself on that sharp edge and have to get stitches. So be very careful. You must have a parent around when you're opening a can. Now, the soups that I opened had this kind of pull tab, and it's the same thing. It's a lot easier to open. You don't have to use a can opener, but still, those edges are razor sharp. You can really cut yourself if you're not careful. So please, please, please be sure your parents are there. They're aware. If you need any help, they can help you. Um, another thing I want to talk about is um, substitutions. So in the other film, I told you I was worried that I didn't have enough peas. Well, I looked at my freezer in the basement and look what I found. I found these peas. They were in a steaming bag, so I actually opened the bag and I used some of them. These were sweet peas with butter sauce. Well, I can tell you I didn't buy that, but somebody in my household bought it. That's okay. I'm glad they did. That way I had more peas. But I didn't really want to use the butter sauce, but mm, that's what I had. So that's what I used, right? Remember, once again, at this point in time, our goal is to not make special trips to the grocery store right? If I wouldn't have found this, I was all ready to go with uh, some frozen corn I would have put in instead. Um, when I was in the basement, in that basement freezer, lo and behold, look what I found. I found some Parmesan cheese, already pre-shredded Parmesan cheese. And I don't normally use this, but I think I brought this home from school when I knew I had to clean out my uh, freezers. So the quarter of a cup of Parmesan cheese does not get mixed in with that pasta dish. That goes on top, all right? Did you see that I took the corn flakes, I put them in a large Ziploc bag along with that quarter of a cup of Parmesan cheese and I crushed it. Now, if you have a food processor, you can throw it in the food processor, but you just, you don't want it as fine as flour. You still want it in some pieces, right? Because you want it to be crunchy on top. That's the good stuff, right? Um, if you don't have any plain corn flakes, you could take a stale piece of bread and do the same thing, break it up into pieces and kind of crunch it up. If you have panko breadcrumbs, you could use them. But the corn flakes and the Parmesan cheese go on top. Now remember, that's two kinds of cheeses. The mozzarella cheese goes inside the dish, okay? And there's one last safety thing that I wanna to talk to you about. It's super, super, super important. And that is the safety of boiling water. When we're in class and we do a lab where you're boiling pasta, I make a big deal about this safety concern and it always worries me. We've never had an accident in class with boiling water, but I know other schools and students have hurt themselves with boiling water. It's so, so, so important that when you're carrying a pot of boiling water from the stove top, and in my case, I had to walk over to the sink over here, that you know whether or not those handles are hot and you need pot holders or if they're not hot. You already have a colander. Remember this thing here with the holes in it? Already over there. And when you take that pot over there in the food lab, you have to holler out, you know, hot stuff coming through, hot stuff. Because if you worked in a restaurant, 
that's what you would have to do. There's other people around. At home, likely everybody's watching what you're doing, so nobody's gonna bump into you. So you don't have to holler out hot stuff unless you want to. But when you take that pot of boiling water to the sink, pour a little bit of the water out first. Pour a little bit at a time, because if that steam coming back freaks you out, I don't want you to then drop the whole thing because it's hot and then get hurt, okay? So, safety, a couple of things. Be safe, shh, wait. Be safe with opening those tin cans with that edge. Be very, very safe with the hot boiling water going back and forth. And oh, the third thing, when I got ready to put my dish into the oven, I was very safe. I pulled the rack out, I set my dish on the rack, and I pushed it back in. Once again, three things. Be very careful, three safety things. Be very careful with uh, opening the cans. Those edges are super sharp. Be very, very careful with the boiling water. You could get hurt, you could get burnt by steam. And be very, very careful when you're putting the hot pan when you're opening up the oven and you're putting your dish in the oven. And now, as I get ready to open the stove and see what it looks like, I of course have to have my pot holders or my oven mitts, okay? Thanks.